Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the uh, partial payment and uh, residual payment in SAP FICO. So in our previous video we have uh, done how to reset the cleared items and uh, how to reverse the uh, payment entry and uh, previously we have discussed uh, what is the clearing document. So uh, at first we have uh, for this particular vendor we have posted the invoice this is the invoice number uh, that is we have uh, posted this invoice with the t-code fb60 and then we have uh, ma made the payment for this invoice posted using this t-code f-53 and this is the uh, payment document and uh, we have cleared the line items since we have uh, done the payment the items have been cleared and uh, in the previous video for this for this cleared line item we have reset the cleared line item and uh, we have reversed the payment document and uh, we had made this invoice number 1207 as an open item so now in this uh, in this fbl uh, one end report uh, we can find we can find this uh, 1207 uh, document number as a open item i, I just uh, uh, display it so with the vendor number 108 we have this document number 1207 as an open item uh, uh, open item document so in this video uh, we are going to uh, demonstrate the partial payment for this document uh, document number so we have 100 rupees as uh, our open item so we are going to make 60 rupees as a partial payment and then we will clear and, and we will display the uh, report and then we can uh, clear the uh, clear with the remaining uh, payment amount so i am going to do this with the uh, with the t code f-53 so similarly i am going to make the payment with the outgoing bank account for 60 rupees since the open item amount is 100 rupees uh, we are going to pay the partial payment as uh, for 60 rupees to the uh, Vendor account 108. And I just click on process open item. Okay, here in the screen, I just click on the partial payment and uh, I, will, I will remove this and uh, place 60 rupees minus. So I just click on save. You can see the document was posted. Uh, we will display this in our uh, report. I just move back execute once again so you can see the 40 rupees is the uh, remaining uh, payment need to be paid uh, but but since it is not cleared so once if i posted this remaining payment uh, this this will be cleared so we will, we will do that the bank account same outgoing account the remaining amount 40 rupees with the vendor 108 Validate. I just click on process open item so in this I just double click on this first line item and second one also okay just double click here okay you can see that uh, both both the amounts are uh, equal now and now I can make save document is posted so let me let me check with the report so there are no no open item I just click on the cleared line item so it has been cleared all all of the line items have been cleared now you can see here so this is all about the partial payment so we can now carry forward with the uh, carry forward with the uh, residual payment so let me let me post uh, another invoice in order to carry forward the uh, residual payment so with the same vendor uh, we will make a payment uh, an invoice uh, we will post an invoice for 100 rupees and then we will carry out with the residual payment so what are what are the difference uh, we can we can analyze
just click on save okay the invoice is posted now let me let me show the fb fbl one and the open item the report okay this is the open item just now we have posted this invoice and now we can carry forward with the residual payment so uh, similar way i just post the payment through the outgoing account bank account and this time i'm going to make 75 rupees as a residual payment so i will st still not entered anywhere here uh, regarding the uh, residual payment entry okay revalidate just click on process open item so in this i just click on the residual items uh, where i need to uh, give the entry as 75 minus and just click on save okay the residual item Okay, I just enter not 75, I just go for 25 minus. Okay, it seems the amount entered and assigned are same now. I just click on save. Okay, correct the line item. I just, this is in blue, uh, blue line item. I just double click here. Okay, I just give the text here. Click on save. Okay, the document is posted. Let me display it in the report. So the land term says uh, the 25 rupees, the remaining one has been displayed here. The 75 rupees has been cleared and uh, the residual payment uh, has been uh, wiped out from the report. And uh, and, and new, a new document number has been posted. And this document says the residual line, line item uh, and this document this new document number will hold the residual amount from the previous vendor invoice so if I if I double click on this document number this is a newly created document number uh, we can find that uh, the actual uh, open item is 100 rupees in that we have uh, made uh, 75 rupees as a uh, residual payment and the remaining 25 rupees is displayed as a uh, open item uh, open item for uh, uh, the vendor so this is all about the residual payment and the partial payment so thanks thank you friends for watching this video we will continue with the next video thank you